Hey guys, I know it's been a while since my last video and I apologize, but I'm back. And today I'm going to be focusing on the Ultimate Ultralight Kitchen, at least in my opinion. This is a kitchen I've put together recently for future hikes, mostly with the intent of being extremely lightweight and compact. So you can see the contents of the kitchen here. I'm not including utensils just because it's more of a personal preference and you can always go lighter with a really lightweight Lexan utensil or something, but I like to have something beefier and everyone else has their own opinion, so I'm kind of just leaving utensils out. As you can see, the overall kit here weighs four ounces without fuel, 112 grams, which is pretty crazy. And if you throw in a utensil with my favorite titanium spoon it comes out to 4.7 ounces and with the lighter weight one you can get it down to 4.4 even. Now if you add in fuel that brings the total up to 10.9 ounces or 306 grams. And just to give you an idea if I throw my favorite spoon back in that brings the total kit up with full fuel to 11.6 ounces or 328 grams. Alright let's get to the gear. So you can see here, I've got the pot and everything inside contained with a rubber band, and that's just to save weight. The pot actually does come with a stuff sack, but it's .6 ounces, it doesn't really do much other than contain everything, and that can be done with a rubber band. As you can see, everything nests really nicely inside the pot here, except for the utensil, but you may be able to find a folding one that could fit there if, that, if you really wanted to. But inside I've got a full 100 gram fuel canister, a stove in the green pouch there with a lighter, and a little sponge just in case you need to do some heavier cleanup if you're not just boiling water. Not strictly necessary, but sometimes it's nice to have. So you can see the stove here is actually a BRS Titanium Ultralight Stove. And if you haven't seen that stove before, I've actually done a review on it on my channel so you can check that out. But it's a really great little stove. It's I've seen it last the entire CDT for some friends and uh, it's really lightweight at about one ounce or 27 grams in the stuff sack and best of all it's a really nice value so you can actually get this stove on Amazon for around $15 on average and I'll actually be putting links up to all of these things I show in this video in the description and on my website and if you buy them through those links I actually get a kickback so that's a way to keep this channel moving. But anyways, you can see here that this stove, because it's so compact, it actually pairs really well with this pot, which is also compact. And speaking of the pot, it is an Evernew Ultralight Titanium Mug Pot. And the pot and the lid combined weigh 2.6 ounces, 73 grams, which is pretty insane for a 500 milliliter pot. And because it is 500 milliliters, it's obviously going to be fairly a little smaller than your average solo pot but I've found that it has more than enough capacity for any sort of meal that I would make on trail. Macaroni and cheese is pushing the boundaries but it can be done in this pot but uh yeah for for a solo person this is more than enough it'll get you through mountain house meals, ramen, pasta size, anything you need. Now if you have more than one person in your group, there actually is a larger size of this pot available, a 900 milliliter size, and that would be perfect for either two people or even more really. Or you can always just use this pot and boil it more than one time. So one thing I really like about this pot, and you can see it here, are the little measurements that are engraved, or kind of, I guess, molded into the pot but it has ounce markings and milliliter markings on the side so as you pour in water you can actually see how much water you have in the pot itself. And you can see those right on the edge, on the side of the pot there. Well yeah, that's, that's the kit. I mean that about sums it up. The sponge here is actually from a normal kitchen sponge. I just cut off a small end of it and it weighs 0.1 ounces, about 3 grams, so it's, it's pretty negligible. The lighter I use is a Bic Mini lighter, pretty common, you can find it at a gas station even, and it weighs about half an ounce or 10 grams. And you can see how all the things kind of fit together, I just throw the sponge and the stove in the bottom of the pot, nest the fuel canister on top of that, put on the lid, and put a rubber band around it, and it's good to go. So when it's all said and done, the entire kit is 4 ounces without fuel, or with a 100 gram canister of fuel, it's only 10.8 ounces. And that's pretty hard to beat. Best of all, it's such a compact package that it really doesn't take up much room in your pack. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, maybe consider subscribing or heading over to my Patreon page to support the channel. And once again, thanks for watching.